Today we're going to be taking a look at Gear Raid 319. I'm going to show you how I cleared it and hopefully you can take something from my comp and the uh, comps and other videos, find something that works for your account and get through it because it is a trial. This this was tough. This was tough for me to get through, but we did do it. Uh, so so again, hopefully hopefully this will help you either solve it for your account or pull from this and other guides and find something that works for your account. Uh, again, I want to say thanks to a lot of a lot of people reached out to me and sent me tips and, and advice and stuff. And I try to acknowledge everybody that, that did that. But I also try to stay away from that because part of the fun in this for me is solving this stuff for myself. Um, so so we, we again came up with something that I don't know that you're going to see a lot of. We have absent in the mix, which is an interesting way to do this. And we didn't use Laurel. So uh, we have an interesting comp here. We've got Lunaria, who's pretty huge for this honestly she's pretty important hopefully you have lunaria because she does make your life a lot easier in here uh, behind me is dolores if you can't quite see that but this is the comp we're running maul is here as kind of insurance we we may or may not need maul i am gonna leave power of dominance on for this by the way because it's uh <laughs> i'm tired of of trying this so with power of dominance it makes our life a lot easier but i'm still going to show you the comp it all still applies it's just going to be easier for us because we have power of dominance on. But this is the comp. Idril's pretty important for this, honest, honestly. I don't think Razak and, uh, and or Nyx are necessary. Maul can definitely stand in for either of them for what we're doing here. Anybody that can reach on that left side can pretty much handle that left side. The left side is really not that big of a deal. The really tough part of this fight is the right side and getting the boss down. So anybody that can reach that has good AOE can take care of that left side for you. As far as Hex, a couple of stand-ins for Hex, I think Calypso would be okay. Uh, she's obviously no Hex, but I think she would be fine. She's going to ramp herself up as the fight goes on. Uh, but but again, anybody, a Brienne, I think, can handle the left side. She could probably even handle the right side, and she may even be able to stand in for Hex, right? There, it depends on your gear. depends on what you got going on. A little bit less crucial. You do need someone that can pump out some damage for you, though. So, uh, again, anybody that you can stick on a platform that can reach will, I think, be a decent substitution for Hex. Obviously, if you've got Hex, he's better, but what are you going to do? Uh, again, Nyx and Razak, I don't think they're necessary. I'm using them because I have them and they've got the good range, but Maul can stand in. Brienne can stand in. I don't, I don't, I don't think any of that's super crucial. And then we have Absin, who again, I think uh, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of excited to have gotten him back in the mix because I like Absin and he, he did a lot for me in the early days of my account. So the way the fight starts off is Dalen into Dolores. And we can speed it up a little bit here. And for these first couple placements, it's obviously pretty important that it's the, the specific unit, right? Some unfortunately, some of these units are pretty necessary. And the first three from for what I'm doing seem pretty necessary for, for their spot and their role. So we want to get Dalen down so she starts generating costs for us because there's a window we need to, we need to be in a little bit later in this fight. <clears throat> so that's it. Now you drop your, your right side, or I'm sorry, your left side platform unit here. And again, if you've got, if you want to try Calypso, if you've got, if you want to do Brienne, anybody that you've got there that can reach. Uh, but if, again, of course, if you have Hex, Hex is ridiculous. So we are going to go ahead and ult with everybody as soon as their ults are ready. Idril's gonna clear that right side pretty handily for us. Now, the next unit that we drop is our left side unit. So for me, that's Nyx. For you, that can be, again, Maul, Brienne, whoever you've got that, that has the range to, to do it. But we wanna wait. See, we just got that cost dump. You wanna wait on that cost dump from Dalen because if we put somebody down over there too early, they're gonna take too much damage and I don't want my unit to get low over there. So I wanna wait until I can follow that drop up with drop on someone else. And next is gonna be absent and hollow. It doesn't really matter who you drop first in the middle here, because they're all gonna be in range of the heal anyway. And absent, one of the cool things about him is he's a little bit beefy, so he can take a couple hits. So it's not a big deal, even if you can't get hollow down right after him. Uh, so again, he, he can take a couple hits. And then we're gonna drop hollow and face her in, or up, it really doesn't matter. And then they're going to start nuking the boss down. And then you're basically just going to use ults as they come. You can save this left side ult for when all the, all the enemies are out. She could probably do it without the ult even. 
And then we're gonna hang on to this right side unit because if we drop them too early, one, they're gonna take hits from the boss and that's not good. And two, this unit's gonna come out and kill them before they can kill it. So we need to wait until we get rid of that second unit that comes out solo, and then these units come out before we drop our right side unit. And then there's a couple things we need to do after that. So we are gonna ult with hollow as soon as it's available to help catch our hex and idril back up. Which, you know, on times one takes a little bit. And then we have Maul here as a little bit of insurance, and we'll talk about that in a second. Now we got her to go ahead and take care of that unit, so we're good to go. Now they're gonna get the boss down, and while these units are coming out, we can go ahead and drop Razek. Now again, he'll take a couple hits, but he'll take care of these guys before he gets taken out. And then basically what we wanna do, we'll drop this ult. As soon as they go down, Without power of dominance, the boss is usually still around. So what we did is we pulled him back. And then we can drop X because we no longer need him. And we don't we can drop Absin, but it's it doesn't matter. But we want to pull Hex and Razak back so that we've got units that we can drop over here, <clears throat> excuse me, as needed. Because uh, Idril can now is now freed up to help. But again, we just want to make sure we have as much insurance as possible for this last part of the fight. We don't want to get pushed too hard by these last three units. So uh, we want to pull them quick enough to get their, their timers down. So we can go ahead and drop Maul here, and he can, he can put a couple hits in. We'll ult with her to get Idril's ult back. But we've got time. We're not super pressed for time here, right? That's just something you can do to get a little bit of damage in. But Angel's going to help you take care of that. And then when this unit's gone, you can drop another. You can drop Razak again. You can drop Hex. You can drop whoever you want. Right? And it's, it's the same thing. We can go ahead and ult with Nyx over here. And then that's pretty much it. Now, Idril obviously cleans up a little bit more aggressively because Power of Dominance is on. But like I said, it's basically the same thing. The big, the big thing is get the boss down. Once the boss is down, pull a couple of units back so that you've got some backup for that right side. Because again, Idril can't clean up quite as aggressively without Power of Dominance. So just in case you need a little bit of help on that right side, you want to have units available so that when you drop one, if they get sniped, you've got another one to drop to, to help clean it up, okay? And that's it. That's that's the run. Kind of a, a, a pretty easy clear comparatively. See, not easy enough for me to want to turn off power of dominance and do it again, because, again, some, the timing can be a little tight without it sometimes. Uh, but easy in the sense that when I started it, I didn't even feel like it was going to be possible. We were we were just getting annihilated. And I was like, how am I ever going to get through this? So in that. Compared to that, it's kind of easy. Now, let's take a look real quick. I'll, I'll show you everybody's gear just to give you an idea of thresholds uh, for important ones anyway. Idril, my Idril is nothing special. She's okay. She's got good crit rate. She's got a, a little bit of extra crit damage, over 10k attack. She's fine. She's not mind-blowing. She doesn't even have a right hand set completed. So there's nothing ridiculously special going on there, okay? All right, attack bonus, crit damage attack. Nothing... Nothing crazy there. Nothing unobtainable. She does have a level... I have upgraded her artifact quite a bit, so that's helping her. But again, not super necessary, I wouldn't say. Razak and Nyx's gear are, are both, uh, again, fine. They're fine. Nothing crazy. They don't have a right-hand set either. Decent crit rate, decent crit damage. Again, a lot of... Lot of all... She's not even skilled up all the way. Razak's not even skilled up all the way. Uh, Hex, or whoever you decide to have in that slot. Now, my Hex has decent gear. It's amazing that he's my fourth strongest champ right under Virna. But if I give him Virna's gear, he becomes my strongest champ. I'm not sure how that works. <laughs> but um, my Virna has much better gear than he has. 
but this is what he looks like now with it with his gear uh, this is what he looks like with the gear that i initially cleared it with i'll just i'll just do that to give you a, a, a glimpse this is what he looks like when i did it without power of dominance to give you an idea of what kind of thresholds we're looking at <clears throat> so again nothing i mean i'm I would say that my top four champs, <clears throat> or my top three rather, are are probably insane for my account. They're not insane comparatively, but compared to the rest of my champs, my top three champs are are pretty, pretty stacked. All right, uh, Dolores, you all know how to build Dolores. Every every single point of attack you can get on her is what you want to get on her, and that's that's the deal with her. Nothing crazy. Hollow, we have attack and HP. Right, you just want to get her. Survivability up a bit, get some good attack on her. She's got good attack speed. It's all very standard stuff. There's nothing crazy going on here. My absent, pretty mediocre. Not good crit rate, not good crit damage. Over 10k attack, which is okay. But like, I, I probably could have revisited his gear and made my life a little bit easier. We probably could have gotten the boss down faster without power of dominance if I, if I revisited his gear. But by the time I got to the point where I worked him in, I didn't really need to. It just kind of worked out. So. I haven't upped his gear yet, but maybe I should just out of respect for the fact that he helped me get through this because that's really where we were struggling. We weren't getting the boss down quick enough to do two things. One, sometimes the boss was was still hitting the crystal, which is, can't happen. Uh, but two, the quicker you can get the boss out of there, the quicker you can better control where Idril is going. And that's a big part of it. Her, her being able to take care or at least help take care of those solo units on the right side are kind of... In my experience, the key point to success and the way to free her up to do that is to get the boss out of there ASAP. So having that third unit down on the ground that can help me get the boss out of there quicker was really the difference maker in my experience. So um, again, he, he pro I, could have, I probably could have justified putting some better gear on him, but that's what he looks like. Dalen, I don't think, is wearing a single piece of gear. She's literally just there to generate cost. And then Maul, who we didn't even use. Uh, but is is nothing i mean he's got a decent build for, for where he is and what he is but nothing crazy but anyway that's it that's how i cleared gear raid 319 i hope that it gives you something I, if you don't have the exact champs that i have hopefully it gives you something that you can also pair up with with other guides and other advice you're seeing and and get through it because it is again one of the more trying things that i think i've done in the account since i've been playing this game so uh, that's it. I do hope it helps. I appreciate you guys watching, and we'll see you later.